In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the on command with data loggers. So let's go to IO data server first. I've used the demo driver that's built into Movicon Next. And I've picked up some test tags from that demo driver. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a data logger to store the values of these test tags. So let's go over to data loggers. We're going to right click. We're going to add a new data logger. Now I'm going to give my data logger a useful name so I know what it's doing in the future. So I'm just going to call it DL command. And I'm going to say every time this tag, which is going to be a Boolean, goes high, I want you to take a snapshot and put it into the SQL database. So I'm going to hit my three dots. I can see that I currently don't have a tag for that Boolean. So I'm going to create a folder. I'm going to call this on command just to keep everything neat. There's my folder. And then I'm going to create a tag and I'm going to call it record and a Boolean. Now this is going to be from a button on screen, but this could just as easily be from a physical tag on your PLC. So a physical button, switch, etc. But I'm just going to use this locally. So I'm going to hit OK. With that highlighted, hit OK again. And I've said data locker name, record tag every time that Boolean goes high. Now currently we don't have anything in this data locker. So we've got a couple of options. We can right click, assign a tag. We'll put cos in there. Or if we come down to the tag list, new project tree. I'm going to grab all the others using control held down for multiple selection, drag them and drop them onto the data logger. So that's all of them in there now. Now currently the column names are going to be the same as the tag name. If you want to, you can actually change this to be something else. If you want to make it more visible in your database, but that's if you want to do advanced reporting. So let's go ahead back to our screen. We need to go to our toolbox. And we need to come down and find ourselves a switch. I'm going to use a switch rather than using a button with a command on you so we can see the change on screen. I'm just going to put record onto this. And we need to assign the tag. So we can come up to properties up here, hit our three dots, record tag. Now we want to see if that data is going in. So I'm going to put a data logger viewer onto screen as well. So that's in our historian data viewers and we want a data logger viewer. We drag it, we drop it onto screen. Make it nice and tidy. Now we come over to properties and we need to tell it what data logger to look at because we could have multiple data loggers within a project. So we have data logger name, DL command. Now if we wanted to, we could actually change the layout 
and get rid of different columns that we don't need, but we'll save that for another video. So now I'm going to save all. And let's start the runtime and have a look what happens. So we can see we have changing data over here. If I hit record, you'll notice it went white for just a moment and turned off. If I hit refresh here, I can see the snapshot. That's how you use on command with a data logger. Thanks for watching.